Well, welcome Cleveland County. We are here. Actually, we're not on location, and I will have to tell you why. I've got the farmer right here. This is Brandon Rupp. Roop, I'm Roop. sorry. Yes, ma'am. And Brandon Roop. And he is our spaghetti squash farmer right here. And we're going to talk about that. But thanks to 16 years to the date for Katrina, we now had, what's it, Ida? Was yep. it? Was that it? Yes, ma'am. And we had a bunch of rain out on location where we would have been to see his farm. And so I told uh, the uh, the producer, I said, put us behind or in front of some sunflowers. So that's what you see. But we can pretend we're on your farm, Brandon. We'll pretend away. <laughs> Good deal. And I, I just, I don't want to deceive our audience that this is what your place looks like. But I think Greg's going to introduce some cows, and you have cattle? We do have cattle. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And I know you have some birds out there. Any chickens? We have some chickens, oh, yeah, a well, couple. Cluck, 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 Greg. We'll, we'll put those sounds in, too. But let's get down to the real stuff, Brandon. First of all, um, you are, you went to NC State, I'm assuming? No, I graduated from Western Carolina. Oh, well, oh, oh, forgive me for that. Oh, that, well, that's terrible. But anyway, I mean, it's not, it's terrible that I would make that mistake and make that assumption. But I'm sure they taught you some farming things as well, besides your family. Yeah, yeah, I was a biology major, so. Okay. All the life sciences, isn't that yeah. great? Yeah. yeah, well, it is great, because you can take their farming knowledge and put it in the ground and into your seeds and whatever. Well, that that's wonderful. So I know you're just a beginning farmer, and, and your folks are beginning to be more public with what they grow. Am I correct with that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And the name of your farm is? We are Misfit Farms. Misfit Farms. Mm -hmm. Okay. If we have time, which we won't, I would go into why it's called that. But, folks, when Brandon is at the farmer's market, you can ask him, why is it Misfit Farm? So be prepared. Yes, ma'am. All right. Now, uh, and to be real honest, folks, I was by his place, I mean, by his stand at, at our local farmer's market, and he had these sweet little spaghetti squash. Who has, who grows spaghetti squash around here? Well, I guess you do. We do, yes, ma'am. And so tell me why. Um, oh, you had some cute little cucumber things. Yeah, the lemon cucumbers, yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah, all kinds of cute veggies. So, but I selected that because we've never done a, a spaghetti squash show, so, show before. So let's tell the audience about spaghetti squash. Yeah, spaghetti squash is uh, it's in the zucchini family. Uh, okay. Zucchini and acorn squash, they're all in the same family. Um, they take about uh, three months to mature. They're really better in the winter, so we, we started ours in the winter. They grew up, and around July, they kind of died off. The heat was too much for right, them. Right, and right, right. So now we're on the process of starting to back up so we can get a fall crop of them. A fall crop, uh, Yeah, okay. that's, that's our goal anyway. Uh, but a spaghetti squash, uh, they, they get pretty big in size. You know, I think the biggest one we had this year was six pounds. Oh, yeah, my it was, goodness. It was a so big So that boy. would be like... Well, really, they're pretty dense, so it, was, oh, okay. it wasn't much bigger than oh, this one. Okay. I don't think. Okay. Uh, okay. Or maybe it was. It was. It was a pretty big, <laughs> pretty, pretty big squash. Well, yeah. Yeah, but like I was telling you earlier, you know, the the way to tell what, when these are ripe and ready to pick is, uh, well, first off, they'll have that real nice yellow color. Right. And then too, if you take your fingernail, the skin should be pretty hard. So it shouldn't be, yeah, just like that. So you okay. see how... Yeah, and it does not dent it at all. No puncture there. If there wow. was a puncture, it's not ripe yet. Leave it there and uh, let it ripen up a little longer. Okay, so. okay. So that's really what you do when you select things for the farmer's market. You'll actually go through and, and do the test. Oh, yeah, that's what I do. I go through the garden or the, well, through the farm and go through and poke them and, yeah. and see if they're ready to pick sure. or not. Yeah, well, good. Well, listen, I commend you for being an instructor on the CCC campus and being a farmer with some help. Uh, but farming is, you, you need help to farm because yes, it's, it's not just easy. It's not all in a book. You have to learn it and work it and work with the weather, which is what we're doing today. Um, 
So it's it's good to be flexible. Yes, ma'am. This was our first year growing anything, so there was a huge learning curve and a lot of lessons learned. So we're we're excited to be more productive next year. Well, I'm I'm sure you will be. Well, folks, thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy the sunflowers. <laughs> And uh, we'll be right back with Nancy Abassi-Akong talking about the nutritional value of this little squash. Okay. Stand by. Between your job, your family, and other demands on your time, life can get pretty hectic. So we want you to take time for yourself. Hi, I'm Jennifer Harrell, and I want you to join me for your health. Each month, the Cleveland County Health Department and C19 TV will explore topics that affect you and your family's health. We'll discuss the importance of exercise, a healthy diet, and regular health screenings and checkups. From fitness tips to warning signs to the latest health care news, for your health will help keep you in shape and up to date in Cleveland County. We want you to be your best, so join us each month for your health. Right here on Spectrum Cable and online, C19.tv. Cleveland County. Here we sit in the studio at Cleveland Community College, and I'm with our friend Nancy Abasiakon, who is the agent for the consumer family and, and consumer family and consumer sciences. sciences yes. <laughs> uh, after how many years, I'm Nancy? Out full, but yes. <laughs> so spaghetti squash. You're holding a beautiful specimen. And uh, tell us why we should eat spaghetti squash. Oh, well, Deborah, we should eat spaghetti squash because it has so many vitamins and minerals and other nutrients that it really um, is a, another, I mean, we've talked about nutrient dense foods. So this is another example of something that has um, vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin K, it has uh, potassium, calcium. It has calcium. Right, folate. Good, good. Magnesium, manganese, lots of things are found right here in a low calorie. Oh, that's even This is even low better. in calories, that's right. Yes. Only about 42 calories for a cup of prepared um, spaghetti squash before we add all the sauces right. and other and things. And cheeses and yes, whatever we yes. might add. We can, we can add. add it up there, but uh -huh. it's 42 just for the squash itself. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. So. Well, all right. Now, how should we select one of these? Well, when you're selecting a spaghetti squash, you want to get this creamy to yellow color. Uh, one that does not have green, because if it's green, that means it is not mature. Okay. It has not ripened. Okay. So look for ones with this nice mellow or yellowish creamy color. Right. Uh, you want it to be firm and heavy. In other words, you can't, you can't squeeze it. That's right. There are right. no soft okay. spots. Right. You would never be able to squeeze a spaghetti squash, but if it had soft spots, that is not that's something you don't want to, to right, get because it's on the way to it's being over spoiled, maturing probably. it's that's right mm -hmm. um, and you can keep a spaghetti squash at room temperature for about a, a month for up to about four weeks okay. just at room temperature now if you want to keep it longer than that put it in a cool 
dry, uh, dark place, about 40 to 50, 40 uh, to 60 degrees. So just a little bit. Um, so you wouldn't refrigerate. Not a refrigerator. Okay. That's right. Okay. No, not a refrigerator. Okay. But a cool. It might. Our room temperature might be, especially in the summertime, uh, might be too warm. But like sure. your pumpkin and other winter squash. Right. So if we put it, if you have a cool place that you can just put it, not in the refrigerator, uh, and then where air can get to it, air can circulate. Mm -hmm. Also, do not wash it. Like our other vegetables, oh, sure. don't wash until you're ready to use, to use it. it. Mm -hmm. And when you do wash the spaghetti squash, just have it hold it under running cold water. And you might need to because it's on the ground, right? You know, when right. it's before it's picked, right? You might need to use a vegetable brush. Okay. or something and just kind of lightly brush off any uh, debris or anything mm -hmm. uh, before you cook it. Okay. And this is another hard rind. You know, uh, there are two categories of squash, summer yeah. squash and winter squash. Of course, yes. And we know one difference, the summer squash, the rinds are soft. And we eat the And rind. we eat the and whole thing. And we slice thing. it and eat the whole thing. That's right. Mm -hmm. even, even raw, you right. can eat a summer squash. Right. But the, this, you would never, as far as I know, you would not eat spaghetti squash uncooked. Well, it's a delicious, it's pretty looking, mm -hmm. and it's, I'm sure it's going to be delicious because we're going to be cooking it here in just a little bit. So thank you, Nancy. And and there are fact sheets that are on your web page. That's right. Look for the website, clevelandcountykitchen.org. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good deal. All right. Okay. Well, folks, thank you for watching this most interesting part. Thank you, Nancy. My pleasure. And uh, stay tuned because we'll be in the kitchen. Listen up. Do you have a passion for cooking? A desire to learn more about the craft of professional food preparation? If so, now's a great time to check out Cleveland Community College's brand new Culinary Arts Academy. This exciting three-month program offers hands-on training for jobs in the food service industry. Across the nation, food service is one of the fastest growing industries. With your training at CCC's Culinary Arts Academy, you can compete for jobs in hotels, restaurants, conference centers, cruise ships, and other settings. Enroll in CCC's program and you'll gain in-depth training in food procedures, preparation, and commercial kitchen operations. Plus, the program includes a special add-on. You'll get your certificate in cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, training. You can earn good money, too. Depending on where you work, starting salaries range from $20,000 to $50,000. In just 12 weeks, you can be well on your way to gaining the know-how to handle food safely, properly as a true professional. Now ask yourself, are you ready to start your journey today at CCC? Someone once said that without music, life would be a mistake. And that's how we feel here on Face the Music. Hi, I'm Summer Castle Kiever, and I'd love for you to join me each month on our new program, Face the Music, which airs on C19 TV and C19.TV. Each month we'll highlight the talents, personalities, and stories behind some of the area's most gifted singers, songwriters, and musicians. It's going to be a lot of fun, so join me each month for a new edition of Face the Music right here on C19. Hi, I'm Shara Miller, the host of Artworks. Each month we bring to you wonderful, talented artists from here in, in Cleveland County and, and the region. We have artists, we have potters, we have painters, we have musicians, we have actors. We just have wonderful artists that come to you and tell you about all that they're doing, their creativity, what inspires them. Join me here on Artworks each month on C19. You can also watch us online at c19.tv. Hi, Cleveland County. Welcome to the cooking part of our Cleveland County Kitchen Show. I am Deborah Blanton, as you know, and I am here with Kelly Davenport, 
who is a transplant from up near D.C., Pennsylvania, and down, down to there. Cleveland County. Yeah. So she doesn't talk too Southern yet. <laughs> Not yet. Yet. Uh, Kelly and her husband have a business, a printing business. And graphic design. And graphic design in Gastonia. Right. But they live here in Cleveland County. Mm -hmm. And folks, as you know, we are going to be cooking spaghetti squash. Who even knew what this thing looked like? So Kelly, if you will please tell us wh what, what we're, we're doing, doing here. Okay, sure. This is a spaghetti squash. And um, my husband should not watch this part because I'm using a knife. The easiest way to cut this for me, I found, is to cut the end off. Okay. And then go from top to bottom. Ta-da. Oh, yes. Okay. So. so this is just like any other squash. It's got the seeds inside there. Okay. And what you want to do is just pull those out. This is a little, this one's a little underripe. So right. we're just going to fake it. Um, but you pull the seeds out, and then typically what I've done is um, rub some butter on it. Okay. And then just salt and pepper it. Okay. Okay, and that gets us ready to go in the oven. Yes, and we already have the cooked results for that. So right. Kelly, let me let me put this back over here. Okay. And uh, we have found. I have just discovered really this parchment paper that she uses, and you cook on the parchment paper. You do not get your pan dirty. That's right. It's fabulous. That's right. Now that the kids don't live at home. I needed something else. Yeah. So <laughs> exactly. use the parchment paper. Yes. So okay, they've been the the halves of the spaghetti squash have been right. in the oven for we about an hour. We buttered and salted these uh, in the oven for about an hour at 400 degrees and face down. Um, I just turned right. the face up to right. cool off. Yes, and you do that so that all the juices don't run out. Correct. Okay. Right. Okay. So they're going to sit here and cool for a little bit while we make the sauce. All right. That's dish. fine. Okay. So what we're going to do is make a white sauce and we start with a roux. We're going to take two tablespoons of butter and I have to turn my back. Three cloves of garlic. Okay. Oh, those are nice garlic. Yeah. In the meantime, Kelly, I'm going to walk behind. I'm going to get all that over here. Okay, thank you. you. Yes. Smash these a little bit. All right, so mashing as opposed to chopping, or does it I, make I mash chopping a little bit. easier? It just makes chopping easier oh, for me. Okay, well, now there's a good helpful hint on uh, what I to do with your garlic. Mash real well. Okay. Well, you know. And that looks like a chef's hand on that knife, no. Kelly. <laughs> you tell Jeff that. <laughs> Well, I just have. The whole world knows now. <laughs> Gracious sakes, you can do that. Yeah. So that looks good to me. Okay. Yeah. And we'll get that in the butter. Okay. And you got your pan on. Yep. Okay. All right. So that's going to have to heat up and saute for a minute. All right. And then can we be doing something else while that is heating up? Sure. Um, Good deal. One of the things that we're going to put into our sauce is roasted tomatoes and onions. Yes, which we've already done ahead of time. Right, but we're going to... But we're going to demonstrate how right. you prepare to roast the tomatoes. Right. So I'm just going to throw these in the ball hole. And those are bitty, bitty tomatoes. Whoa, my yeah. goodness. Yeah, those actually come up all over our yard. Oh, they do. Yeah, so we've never planted them. So you never get to, you don't have to mow. That's the excuse for not mowing oh, okay. your yard. Don't touch to, up. Tomatoes out <laughs> That's there. right. Oh, what fun. So now tell us about this onion that you're chopping. Um, this is an onion that we grow in our garden. It's called a red tropea, I think. It's a European heritage onion. Okay, but it has the same kind of green top yes. like the rest of it. Yeah, okay. and the same kind of papery but, skin. Uh -huh. But it is a, a red looking thing. Oops, yeah, sounds like an very, onion. It's very pungent, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so little bitty tomato, but you can use any kind of tomato. Can you, can you slice these, you know, if you get the cherry tomato, can, should you slice that um, before you roast them? Or do they not. roast better whole? I think they probably roast better whole okay. and you just want to leave them, I put them in about 375 
400 for just just until they pop and start using their losing their juices a little bit. Okay. Now I did want you to talk about the Himalayan salt. Okay. Yeah, we're using pink Himalayan salt, and I just like the flavor. Um, okay. I think it's got a, like a really buttery flavor. So oh, good. Good. And well, I, I like fresh ground salt. Try pink Himalayan salt. I guess you get it in the salt section right. of any store. Right. Mm -hmm. So then we've got some oregano. Okay. Just we're whatever just you like. Dashing stuff dashing in stuff here. Dashing stuff in. It's just like my grandmother. Yeah. 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 And if then, you like it, do it. If you like it, do it. And then I just kind of toss these around like that, and we'll oh, put that's them on. Perfect. Perfect. A, a okay, baking pan. now is what's in the oven that we've already done. Yes. It should be there's ready. This. So here we go. All that's right. That's going to come out so looking that. like that. Yes. Oh, fabulous. And actually, can I put them on the counter or can I, should I put them back on uh, the stove? Put it on a counter on that little on that pink thing. mitt. Okay. Put Very good. Right there. Just in case. All right. Good. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. all right. We've got all our butter and our garlic. Our butter going. is garlic. And so we're going to take it. Two tablespoons, we have two tablespoons of butter, so we'll take two tablespoons of flour okay. to make our roux. Okay. And yes, you stir that until it becomes all right. included, right? Right, and then you let it cook for just a little bit to kind of get rid of the floury flavor. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And then I'm assuming, is this two cups of milk or one cup or that whatever you need? That is two cups need? of milk. Two yeah. cups of milk. I've never looked at that. Huh. Good deal. Look so you store. don't have to measure. It would be perfect. It would be perfect, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. And of course the olive oil, you use, I see it's extra virgin mm -hmm. olive oil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's always good to have. Okay. I'm going to let that cook for a second. And what I'll do with this is just a little dash in here to kind of help things not stick to the pan. Oh, that's after we get all the roux and the spaghetti Right, that's squash. where we're going okay. with that. Gotcha, gotcha, so. okay. Oh, that's an easy way to do that, yeah. sure. And I've got the trash can over here, so I'm okay. glad to take that. Thank you. Mm -hmm, you're welcome. All right. Now, I'll tell you what, we should probably start on the squash. Okay, let me, uh, let me see if we want to, this is probably ready for some milk at this point. Okay. Okay, and then, and then what that flour will do will thicken the milk. Right. I'm sure you all know that. Right, and you have to let it kind of bubble just for a couple minutes until, oops, until it thickens up. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I'm, and we need to, we need to roll on with our, okay. what we do with our squash. Do you want to do it? Well, or do you want to stir? Oh, well, I can't stir because I'm on that. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Well, what, what do we do here? Okay. If it's, if it's cool enough to touch, just start gently, gently. Gen oh, I'm not doing gently. That's okay. Ooh, Typically okay. I go in from the side. Oh, I see. Like that, oh. and just start pulling it. And you can see why oh, it's, it's called spaghetti squash. Oh, it's stringy like spaghetti. Yeah. Woohoo! So. Okay, great, thank you. So, so you get spaghetti. This is going to be like, sp you're it's making like, spaghetti sauce. Right. Yeah. I hope you don't burn oh, yourself. Oh, fabulous. So this is, be. wow, this is just such an easy vegetable to do. Maneuver yeah. with. And the really cool thing about this is that you can basically dress it up any way you like. Um, well, you could have a red sauce. You could have like a red real, sauce. Like real spaghetti right, sauce. Right, with meatballs if you want. Yeah, right. Okay, do I get, I get to do this you one too? You get to do that one oh, too. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Spaghetti, spaghetti. Plus, there's no pasta involved. It's strictly a vegetable. Right. Right. And so if you have, you know, gluten issues or something, you can make the roux gluten-free somehow. I'm not sure exactly how to do that, but, but you can have a pasta dish. Sure. With a white sauce. Yeah. All right, Kelly. I'm turn this up just a little bit. Good thing I'm calling you Kelly now instead of Judy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right, there we go.
There we go. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. So this is it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is not heating up as fast as I wanted it well, to. Well, but we can pretend that it is. Can we can we, all, can that we it add is. it in sure. here? Sure. Okay. All right. So what so we're going to do is I'm going to put in a little bit of arugula whoops, oh. from our garden. Yeah. Okay. And wait for that to. Oh, how great. Look at this. Oh, and then my. we'll put in our roasted tomatoes and onions. I bet you're going to want some cheese. Will you need cheese? You'll yes. need your cheese. Yeah, I'll need the cheese. Okay, I'll get this cheese ready. We've got two different kinds of cheese. And cheese I want to talk about because we, we talked right. about this before we got the show. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of the shredded cheese that you buy is like coated in flour if you've never thought about that. So what you did, you got your own and you grated it. Right. Right, because the pre-grated cheese has that coating to keep it from clumping together. Right, right, right. But there's, if it's flour, it's, you know, you don't need all that on, on your cheeses. So, right. just learned that that has happened. Okay. okay. So, if now. you could pass me the salt and pepper, too. Yep, salt and bit pepper. Of. Okay. Oh, Again, okay. just throw it in. Gotcha, gotcha. How much is just whatever It's up to you, you whatever you want. feel. Okay, there you go. All right, that's yeah. working good. Okay, yeah. now. Oops. Okay, this is getting nice and thick. Okay. That looks good. And then you want to go ahead and take it off the heat, okay. or away from the heat, I guess. And I guess we can do this right. like that. When okay. you put your cheese in, and that way that'll so, help So, and this is what from. kind of cheese is this? This is um, Pecorino Romano. Romano. No, this one's Asiago. Sorry. Okay. The pecorino okay. goes on top. Okay, so that comes in like a thing and you just grate yeah, it. Yeah, like a okay. wedge. All right. All right. This goes on top of mm -hmm. it. Okay, good. So, so, we get a nice so this sauce. is the sauce. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and okay. then we will and put then our all noodles in. Yes. How, what a fabulous vegetarian dish. Jeff tried to talk me into putting bacon in it. Oh, no. no. Which would have been good, but right. I right, wanted right. to stick with this. Right, right. For those okay. of us that are trying to really be good. <laughs> okay. okay. And then we're just going to mix this around. And then what I do, I mean, you could eat this like this if you wanted to, um, but I typically throw it in a baking dish with a little bit more cheese um, and leave it in for you know, 15 or 20 minutes, like 350, 375, just to help the flavors kind of come together. Right, 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 and that, that makes all sorts of sense. This butter right here, does that, do you put more butter in no, there? No, I don't, that was actually for okay. the all right. other well, squash. Okay, well, then so. I'm gonna do this, oh, yeah. oh, and that, <laughs> and this, because we're gonna get out our dish that we have already prepared. That's right, so that's that. Okay, so Kelly, if, if oh. we can, um, let's get out our prepared dish. Right. Because we're going to demonstrate it right now. Okay. Okay, and we've had this warming. Kelly made this at home so that we're able to show you the after. And whoo -hoo, oh. it's hot, it's yeah, ready. It's, it's ready to go. I should have brought a bottle of wine. Yeah. Where was I? We're going to have to do this again next week. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right. Well, Kelly, I can't thank you enough. You're getting ready. And while, I, while I'm finishing up, if you want to pour it, I'm assuming okay. you pour it right in yes, there. Yes, pour it right in so, here. So anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Woo, I hope you've learned a new dish, a new vegetable, and it's just such an easy thing. It really um, is. And there'll Except be spaghetti the squash <laughs> in, the, in the fall, in the more fall, in the more fall. Okay. All right. Take care, be safe, see you next month.